there's no way it could happen, right? Like, there's no way it's going to happen. There, no shot that Missouri marches into Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, and takes down number two Georgia. But what if it did? Just, just, just what if it did actually happen? If you're brand new here, welcome on into the channel. My name is Cole Thompson. I'm a radio show host based in Houston, and I talk college football daily. I talk NFL, MLB, NHL, NBA, but I love talking college football. And if this is the type of content you enjoy, well, this is the channel made for you. So hit the subscribe button down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Tell me your thoughts on the Missouri Tigers, what they've done, what they plan to do, all of that in song and dance. Tell your friends, your sister, your mother, your brother, your pastor, your mortal enemies, your best of friends, everybody about this channel. Because if we get to 1,000 subscribers in the next 13 days, I shave this bad boy live on air. We do three live shows a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. You're not going to want to miss out. So subscribe, and let's talk college football. Two quick things. One, not my house. Well, kind of. My, my, my parents live here. I, I'm babysitting their golden retrievers. So if you like this setup, subscribe to the channel. That way, maybe I don't have to be doing videos in front of my bathroom anymore. And number two, uh, this mustache is not a piece of lettuce. Sorry, Dennis from the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. I do Movember every single year. And for those of you that don't know what Movember is, it is an organization that brings awareness to men's suicide, testicular cancer, and prostate cancer, all growing at an alarming rate, not just in the United States, but globally. So if you would like to participate, if you would like to donate or find out any more information, go visit Movember.com. And if you want, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description down below. Missouri, let's talk about the Tigers real fast. No matter what happens on Saturday, when they take on the likes of the Georgia Bulldogs, you got to give credit. They're seven and one. They've drastically turned the corner. They look like a team that is vying for at least a New Year's six bowl bid. And they probably could end up getting there even with a loss on Saturday. But Eli Drinkowitz made some very choice decisions this offseason, and he worked the transfer portal in his favor, and the defense continued to improve. But the one decision that he made that was very promising was he went out and he hired an offense coordinator, and that was Kirby Moore from Fresno State, and Moore has bought more buy-in than ever before with the Tigers. Not only are they seeing a massive uptick in scoring, last year they ranked 81st, this year they ranked 27th, Last year, they ranked 87th in total yards. This year, they rank 30th in total yards. You're seeing the production go just skyrocket through the roof, and they're playing their best football as of now. And I don't really want to hear about what we saw when they played Middle Tennessee State. I don't really want to hear what we saw when they went to Memphis, uh, St. Louis and they played Memphis. It's a brand-new team. And that's kind of the beauty of college football is that every given week, something insane could happen and you just go, well, what the hell, what the hell? It's just, it's college football. That's kind of the way it is. And it's wonders because of it, but you got to give credit. Eli Drinkowitz has incredible buy-in from this organization and this program. The fans are elated to see where the direction this team is going. Truman is trumping everybody when it comes to the show me state. And they're showing you that they mean actual business. Brady Cook is having a breakout year. There may not be a more polished receiver outside of Marvin Harrison Jr. than Luther Burden. They have a great rushing attack led by Cody Schroeder. Not only that, they also have a really good complimentary wide receiver in Theo Wees Jr. that does not get the respect he deserves. He was a transfer that came over from Oklahoma this offseason. The defense is suspect at times. They do allow a lot of yards in coverage, and they've played really well against the run, mainly because of linebacker Tyrone Hopper. But that's not the point. The point is is that this team can win on Saturday. Now, a lot has to go their way. You can't allow Georgia to jump out to an extensive lead. And really, the big storyline here is that Georgia is playing its best football. You lose your best player in Brock Bowers, and look at that you actually end up looking even better than before. You could even say you're playing more sporadically sound than you could have imagined. And that's crazy because of most teams end up taking a step back, not a step forward. But lo and behold, you have one of the best quarterbacks in the country in in Carson Beck, 
in Athens, Georgia, he's playing his best football. And in his last four games, he's thrown for over 300 yards. Not to mention, he doesn't have that many interceptions. He's completing over 68% of his throws during that span. And he just had one of the best performances that you will see from a quarterback without his leading receiver in Brock Bowers against rival Florida in a neutral site location. They're able to run the football extremely well. Uh, they have good receivers that are now stepping up. Dominic Lovett, who most Columbia fans know because if he was in Missouri last year, uh, they have a good slot receiver that works the middle of the field like no one's business in Ladd McConkey. They have a good tight end in Oscar Delp, who's taken over for Brock Bowers. They have uh, Dylan Bell. They have a countless other number of receivers in Rob Rod Thomas. And the offensive line is playing great, and we already know what Glenn Schumann does with defenses. He just basically molds them like he's a madman in a factory and then just sends them out on an assembly line. And the end goal in the final destination is the NFL, and a lot of players go there. So they're playing great football. But you can win this game. You can. And here's the way that you can. Do you remember last year what happened when Missouri played Georgia? They found a way to jump out to an early lead, but here was the main problem. They settled for field goals. That ultimately was the difference maker. So it was a very cold, wet day in Columbia, but you got to remember that they got out to an early lead. Harrison Mevis got a 41-yard field goal. Uh, then Tyler Stevens caught a pass, and then field goal, field goal, field goal, field goal, field goal. And then eventually what happened in the fourth quarter was Kendall Milton ran for a touchdown and Dejon Edwards ran for a touchdown and 26-22 right on the scoreboard. Well, what if you flip it? What if this year you go for the field goals and the field goals keep on happening and Mevis continues to drain them, but instead of allowing a touchdown, you just allow field goals. And then you at the very end of the game see Brady Cook connect with Luther Burden and instead of three points, it's six points. So you double his number. Or Theo Wees ends up living up to the number one as the number one weapon that day, and he goes ham. And it's possible. It is. Now, you're going to have to slow down Carson Beck. Your secondary has got to play better, and you cannot allow the deep ball to win. Because if you do, what's going to happen is you're going to be shit out of luck and out of account before even the game begins. Because they can run the football. And even though you can stop the run, we thought that a lot of other teams could stop the run. And guess what? Uh, they haven't been able to. And now you're fully healthy at the running back position. So that's a huge dividend for you. But if you do all that, and somehow you just keep pace throughout the four quarters, fourth quarter comes around, Athens, crazy environment, emotional game, maybe you catch a slip up, one interception, and there you go. And what happens if Missouri wins? Well, they end up actually controlling the SEC East. There's a lot that still has to occur. They have to get a win over a Tennessee team. Even though it's at home, you still got to beat Tennessee. And you got to play Florida. And you got to play Arkansas. But if you win out, you hold the tiebreaker over Georgia. And Georgia now is just praying that not only will they take their anger out like an angst teen listening to any metalhead music on Ole Miss, on Georgia Tech, on Tennessee, in Neyland, I might add in, they have to hope you lose. But if you continue to win, the division's yours. And then you go to Atlanta. And then once you go to Atlanta, anything is possible. Anything. And I mean anything. You can have aspirations but also realistic thoughts on going to the college football playoff with this win. You can end up thinking that a national title is plausible because the SEC is not going to be left out of the college football playoff. They're, they're just not. It's not going to occur. But if you allow your wide receivers to keep pace with this secondary, and if you allow your defense to make this offense one-dimensional, and you just keep chugging along, kind of like you did last year at home, there's a possibility. And as long as you continue to win, you are in the driver's seat. Not saying it's going to happen, but it could. It actually could. I thought Vegas was kind of crazy putting this at 14 and a half on the line. I would say it's probably closer to 10 and a half. And even then, the way that Missouri plays, they're dangerous enough to be able to hold their own. And if they do hold their own, I don't think the country's ready to figure out what Missouri is made of. And if they're really made of something promising, they could be made of that promising national title aspirations too. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Don't hit the X button yet. 
make sure you hit subscribe to keep up with all of our daily content found on just saying it and anything else that we post on this channel. Bye.